Now, all throughout Friday, President Moon Jae-in and U.S. President Joe Biden reaffirmed the ironclad alliance between the two countries. Prior to the summit, President Moon joined the Medal of Honor ceremony where the award was given to a Korean War veteran. Later in the day, President Moon also attended a groundbreaking ceremony for a new Korean War monument at the Memorial Wall that would mark a new symbol for the alliance. Kim Lee kyung has this full story. President Moon Jae-in met U.S. President Joe Biden face-to-face -face for the first time on Friday at a Medal of Honor ceremony. Biden had invited Moon to join the event, during which he awarded Korean War veteran Ralph Puckett with a Medal of Honor, making Moon the first foreign leader to participate in the White House honor. The two leaders showed their highest courtesy towards Colonel Puckett, who had led his rangers through enemy counterattacks even after being wounded by a hand grenade. And they used the occasion to reaffirm the ironclad alliance between South Korea and the U.S. The strength of the alliance between the United States and the Republic of Korea was born out of the courage, determination, sacrifice, and of the Korean troops fighting shoulder to shoulder with American troops. And having you here today is an important recognition of all that our nation has achieved together, both of them, in the decade since. Later in the day, Moon also attended a groundbreaking ceremony for the Wall of Remembrance at the Korean War Veterans Memorial in Washington. The monument will be completed in June next year and will include some 36,000 American soldiers and 7,200 members of the Korean augmentation to the United States Army who lost their lives in the war. That will make it the first monument in the country to bear the names of foreign soldiers. The South Korean government is offering some 23 million U.S. dollars for this, representing another new symbol of what they emphasize as an ironclad alliance. Young Arirang News.